can look it up. Today I am going to explain and make you conscious regarding the basics of pruning and pinching. Because you know, in the morning session I told you that the the yield of a plant. We talk about the moringa. The yield of plant is not only attributed what we view the input fertigation, micronutrients, irrigation, control of disease and this that. At the same time, the way you carry out the cutting operation that is the pruning and pinching, that too plays a major role in the yield of a plant, individual plant or at a whole plant population at our Moringa orchard. See, as far as the scientific way and my experience of last 10 to 11 years working with the Moringa, the for leaf production in Moringa, the pruning and pinching, we have to think of it of the first pinching. The first very pinching is start just immediate after to the first harvest. I am to talk, talking about the just how we are rearing our moringa plants in our orchard. Okay, so suppose we are, we are doing for the first time we are going for the after germination of the plant when the plant attains a height of 3.5 to 4.5 feet or 90 to 110 days, whichever is earlier. Okay. It means that you know, the plant is ready for the first harvest at this phase, either 90 to 100 days, 110 days, or when the plant attains a height of 3.5 to 4.5. At that time, we used to pinch. How do we pinch? Support, support, of course, this is, this is the lateral plant, but presume that this is the primary shoot apex of the primary stem. Okay, sir. This is the apical part of the primary, though it is of the part of the secondary branch, but consider that as if it is a typical terminal portion part of the primary stem. So from 10 centimeter below, 10 centimeter below, put a cut just above the node here, like this, just at, okay, here only, just above the node. Why just above the node? In every cutting and every pruning, here is the meristematic part of the any plant. Okay, just above the node. It is a meristematic region responsible for the primary and secondary growth. So if we cut it here so precisely, just like a doctor, just like a surgeon. You know, surgeon never, you know, cuts the organ effectively. It is always a planned surgery. Surgeon knows which part is to be, you know, operated and cut and removed in what way. So that a damaged part, diseased part will be removed and at, that same, at the same time, the quick healing will start. Okay. In the same way, here in the Moringa, we have to choose a portion which is just above the node, just above the node in that end by, by planningly put a sharp cut, sharp cut. There should be no peeling of the, no peeling of the, you know, skin or you can tell me the bark, bark of the stem in order to prevent the fungal infections. Okay. Also, in order to save the meristematic region responsible for the growth also. So you have to put a sharp cut. In a moist situation, you apply after the cutting, heavy dressing over it. Cow dung, fresh cow dung and cow urine, a homogeneous mixture of the both, what we call it rubbery, and apply to on the cut portion. What you are doing here, you know, all the people we are doing that person see 
he is doing the same thing, he is dressing. See, see, he is putting a cow dung and cow mixture, urine on the cut part of the stem. Okay, he is doing. Okay, in the same way we will have to repeat. So, this is about the pinching. The first pinching followed by the first harvest. Immediately, on a very next day, the first harvest is over, you have to carry out the pinching work only. And pinching is always related to the cuttings of the terminal portions of the primary stem. Okay. Now, let us talk about the pruning. Okay. Pruning generally takes place after second or third harvest. By the time plant would have grown to its maximum and he might, it might have developed number of lateral branches. Okay. So, pruning concerns with the cutting of the lateral branches. That is related to, uh, that helps in forming a lateral growth and forming a canopy between the two plants, two rows rather. Okay. It will form a sort of canopy. Pinching means controlling the height of the plant. Okay. When you cut pinching the primary, you know, terminal part of the primary stem, it controls the height. And at the same time, it allows the growth of sprouting of the lateral branches. Okay. And lateral branches means more lateral branches, more leaves, that is more growth, more yield of fresh leaves of an individual plant. So ultimately that will increase our yield per plantation, per acre. Okay. Now let's talk about the pruning. Pruning always will be started after second or third harvest. That depends upon the lateral growth of the plant. Okay. Now when you cut the branch, lateral branch, you have to put a cut just above the node, but at a midway, at a midpoint of the total length of the branch. Suppose the, your branches have attained a height of 4 feet. You cut it just above the node at 2 feet. Suppose it has attained a height of 6 feet. Cut, put a cut, sharp cut, just above the knot at 3 feet. So accordingly, you will have to put a cut at a, a midway of the total length of the plant. But one thing you will have to take, when your branch is attained, just at 2 feet only, allow it to grow further. Don't put a cut. It is a 50% of the total plant, that is true. But if the branch is two feet, it doesn't mean that you cut it at two feet, at so you may put a cut at a one feet. Because there will be a minimum node, so there will be a less chance for lateral growth. So allow it to grow, and when it attains a height beyond four feet, then think of the pruning. Okay, so this is the rhythm. First pruning, it, it will control the height. Then after two to three harvest, you will have a lateral growth. Now onward, you will have, you are the best judge. Then my knowledge will not work afterward. Why? Farmer is the best judge. When to prove, how to prove, and how to develop the canopy. Because farmer is 24 hours, is engaged with this farm, plot. So he has to decide. Only the thing is that he has to decide the total height of the plant should not go beyond 4.5 feet. Understand? This is one thing. So as soon as you find a height above the 4.5 feet, you just cut it. Then forget the rhythm that pinching will follow, then pruning. No. You are the best judge. Farmer is always the best judge. He has to see, he has to think for the total height. Because you know why I am talking about total height? 
if I take the leaves like this, okay, if I take the leaves like this, I will do it very correctly, but my speed will be man, because I have to, you know, take to a, my chest side, then I will, you know, pressurize all these things. So, my movement will take maximum time, whereas result per day, my output will be the lowest one. Because for a profitable, you know, labor economics, one must collect 70 to 80 kg of fresh leaves during the working, full working day. Okay, so if you, you know, cut, it's a chest site only. Okay, so I can, you know, take this very, very speedily. My mode, uh, my, you know, finger movement, my hand movement will be so swift. So that will enable me to collect at least 70 to 80 kg of fresh biomass at the end of the day. So this is the thing. Repeatedly, it, see, in the beginning it is okay. Okay, after first harvest pinching, then second and third harvest, it will be a lateral, you know, pruning of lateral branches. But then onward, the rhythm is to be maintained by the farmer. Farmer is the best judge. He has to decide when to print, when to prune, when to, you know, pinch in order to have a bushy appearance of the plant. Okay, and that will give us a maximum. Okay, this is all about the please carry out all these things. Ask everybody, teach them properly in your local language. And at the same time, while supervising this level, if anybody is, you know, committing mistakes or omissions, or that, immediately check it. And ask him to improve the methods of his cutting and pruning. Okay, so this this will be, there will be an ongoing uh, continuous supervision, and if everybody will develop a good habit of pruning and pinching, we will have hundred percent a good yield per plant, good yield, optimum yield per orchard per acre per acre. Okay, so this is all about pruning, all about pinching. Okay, and see why this thing has happened. Because you know, you people, you know, altered the methodology. As a result, see, most of the plant, they have forgotten to sprout, they have forgotten to sprout below. And here you can see these are all fungal development. Stems have become dead. This is all fungal development. Can you see all these black spots here? So that is dangerous to a normal growth pattern. Okay. Let us carry out the way we have, you know, once again this will be a sort of reorientation. Okay, thank you very much. Please carry on this scientific progress in the interest of our annual yield productions.